Hi everyone, it's Monday the 25th of April and it's literally just gone 11 in the evening. Now in this video I'm going to be modifying one of my PCs um, and while we're on the subject of PCs I've got a few other things I want to talk about plus I want to update you on all of those consoles that I purchased uh, from my brother. So let's begin. First off, I want to start with the PS1s. I bought four of those. Um, two of them worked fine. Two of them had minor issues. Uh, the first one had a sticking eject button, which was a simple fix. In fact, all I used with a straw, obviously, I didn't just spray it on like this. I just used a very small squirt of this on the mechanism for the eject button. And that fixed it straight away. It's only a three-in-one bike maintenance spray with PTFE enhanced lubrication protective layer for change cables gears bloody blah blah um, yeah it worked a treat on that that was better than using um, a WD-40 because WD-40 is thinner and not really a lubricant um, so yeah fixed that one and the other one wasn't reading discs but when I had the cover off to look at the laser because I'd cleaned that all up with IPA still nothing it turns out that the actual laser was stuck on its runners it just wouldn't move um, and I found that out because just randomly while I was poking around with it I just tried to move the laser because I thought that should move a bit free I should be able to move it with my finger it wouldn't and then all of a sudden it just sort of went boop and just slid up the rails um, so before I tested it I squirted just a tiny bit of that oil on each runner and just moved it up and down with my finger and then put it all back together put a disc in that one worked those two I believe are the two I sold at the car boot um, and a third one I gave to a friend of mine with a bunch of games and uh, I've still got the fourth one the one I kept is the one with the horrible faded um, top cover you know the um, UV damaged one which if I really wanted to I could get like some hydrogen peroxide paste and yeah, do that treatment on it or I could just find a non-working PS1 and just swap the covers over but it's got to be a later one it's got to be the one with the um, expansion bay on the back because believe it or not that was the only one out of them four that were um, with the uh, expansion bay. The other three were earlier ones. Uh, right, what was next? The Mega Drive I sold, but uh, I only bought that for the games that my brother was selling with it, and I think I kept two of the three controllers just so I had a spare, or you know, I play a two controller so I could play with friends when they come over and a spare one on the others I'll just I sold the rest for 20 quid I think not a great deal it was all work and I gave it a clean up because it was all dusty from being stored um, and yes I did check it worked um, so yeah got rid of that one Xbox 360 there was that nice black one that I bought from my brother in this big old job lot I decided to keep that one um, and it's now on my TV, or yeah, in my TV cabinet in the lounge, um, in place of the old white one I had. I had the um, older style white one with the grey hard drives that could be clipped on the side. Yeah, I swapped those over, and then sold my old setup for thirty quid, I think, <laughs> just as it was, all in working order. So. I just thought the black one would look better up there and I actually like the look of the black one a lot better so and it suits the setup because I've got the black DVD player there I've got the black VHS player there so yeah that looks a lot better um, and I think that brings us to the three I've got on here the Xbox, the NES and the N64 um, so I'm going to stop at so actually I'll start at the bottom, I'll start with this one. This one works absolutely fine. And uh, I did find the games for this. I actually have that many to begin. Um, there. 
I'll spit the words out. There weren't that many games there. Um, but I, I literally went through the pile, I kept what I wanted, and the others are gone with all the car boot stuff. Um, so, yeah, that, I've got to find somewhere to set up. <laughs> uh, this one, I didn't get it to work. I made up a 9 volt power supply after doing some research on old Google and found out that this doesn't care what polarity it is, so it doesn't care if it's centre positive or centre negative. And it doesn't seem to care if it's an AC adapter or a DC adapter, it just hasn't got care in the world. So I just found a 9 volt adapter. I had to change a plug on it because the plug wouldn't fit, so I just found another AC adapter that fit this. I think it was a 12 volt actually. And just cut the connector off. Um, but when I powered it on, the little red power light here was flashing on and off. So I hit the Googles again. It turns out it just meant that the system wasn't recognising that the cartridge, the game cartridge, was connected. So I cleaned the cartridge up with some cotton buds and some IPA and got the red light to flash, but then I still wasn't getting a good signal out to the TV. And it didn't matter if it was through the RF or the AV, I got a grey screen with just like some scrolling weird black lines going up the screen. Um, so what I did, I cleaned up the um, AV sockets because they had some rust around the outside and I put some IPA on a cotton bud down them inside the jack and just put a plug in and out to, you know, just moved it in and out and in an attempt to clean the inside as well. Same with the RVs and RV, the RF socket. Um, still nothing. So while I had the cover off, I took some IPA to the um, actual game cartridge socket and it got it to work through RF. But I think there's a bit too much damp damage to the AV sockets. I might be able to get them to work if I try cleaning them a bit more, but I still couldn't get a decent picture. There's still some... Um, I got a picture, but there's still some artifacting on the screen. So, But other than that, it now works. And lastly the N64. Now I didn't have the AV cable for this so I had to go on eBay to buy one which was only £3 something I think. £2 something I can't remember that was ridiculously cheap so oh, while we're on the subject of cables I've actually ordered an RF cable for this one because I know the RF side of this works so yeah um, but before I bought the cable I did manage to um, plug in a PlayStation cable because it fits and with a little bit of a wiggle I did get it so it would um, put a signal out to the TV so I knew this was working um, so yeah this all works I just haven't got any N64 games apart from that one <laughs> which is NASCAR from uh, EA Sports as it was back then before it became EA Games so that's the update on the consoles Apart from a few that needed some uh, minor attention, they all worked. Probably didn't help that they've been sitting around for a few years. Right, put those over there for now. So, we're going to move on to PCs. And before we actually get into the one that I want to do some modifications to, which is what this is for, um, I'm going to talk about another PC that I've got to bring home from Mum. There's another one that I've bought off my brother. But first, I'm going to put this up here because this is related to it. Let me just adjust the camera. Now, a few months ago when I bought that job lot of computers and computer cases off my brother, this was one of them. It's been sitting in my mum's shed since then. Um, I didn't actually realise that is actually real glass, that's tempered glass. I thought, looking at it, it was just a Perspex panel, you know, it's a cheap Perspex panel, it's not, it's actually tempered glass. But anyway, the PC I have now bought from my brother is my old Intel i7 rig. Yep, I'm buying my baby back. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're probably thinking why. Well, you will be thinking why in a minute because I've got an Intel build behind me, which is what I'm going to be uh, modifying shortly. <laughs> but um, he wasn't going to take it to Ireland with him. He tried for over a month to sell it and no interest whatsoever. So I said, well, if you can't sell it, I'll buy it back. Because in, in all honesty, I never wanted to get rid of it in the first place. I want to keep it. So he said, well, considering I've had no interest whatsoever, if you want it, you can have it and just pay me when you can. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, that's still over in Mum's shed, though. But what I want to do is get it back here and recase it into this one. I actually quite like this case. Um, it is an NZXT case, same brand as my white one. My Ryzen build, that's an NZXT case as well. Um, so, yeah, the one, one thing I am going to have to buy for it is a somewhat decent uh, GPU because he had that one out of it. In fact, he let me have it for a cheaper price because. I did send him a cooler that I had here, a decent one, and he did take the GPU out of it, which I put in the box as well, along with some SAR cables and power cables and whatnot. Um, yeah, so he did knock a chunk off the price. I think he knocked about 100 quid off the price for that. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I want to get that here and recase it. I'm quite looking forward to doing that build and I will do a video on it as well and I'm hoping during this week maybe at the weekend that I will be able to chuck it in mum's car and get her to bring it over here but she's trying to conserve petrol with things as they are at the minute and I don't blame her you know it's not so bad with my little moped that barely drinks anything you know I can do a half a dozen or more trips to hers and back on my moped Although I don't trust the fuel gauge, to be honest. So I always make sure it's topped up. But anyway, I'm going to put this one back on the floor. Uh, we can put two fans in the front. There is no drive bays in this area, just a big red NZXT thing. I'm not sure what that's for. All the drives, they actually go in from the other side here, the other panel. And same with SSD and whatnot. Um, I did notice that there's no SSD in that machine that I'm buying back, my old rig. Not a problem because I've got two spare at least up in the cupboard, so that's not too much of an issue. And they're not too much to buy. And it's actually a shame um, that I didn't have any spare cash today because I did see a half decent uh, GPU on Marketplace. <laughs> I just haven't got 80 quid. I've barely got 80 pence at the minute. Right, we're going to put this here. <laughs> I like dinky little computers for some reason. I don't know why, I just have a thing for small computers. And this is, um, <laughs> well, when my brother was trying to sell this one on Marketplace, he had it advertised as um, a sleeper, a gaming sleeper build. A sleeper gamer gaming build something like that um, yeah because he actually had a better GPU in it than the one that's currently in it he actually had this one in it which I'm going to put back in I was going to stick it into my um, Intel build when I got it here but I thought you know what I might as well just buy another one for it um, there is no um, storage drive in it it's only the SSD but there is nowhere to put a storage drive in it, I noticed. Because he's actually, if I can just open this up. Oh, shit. Forgot you've got to take this off first. Like so. And then, pull on that bit. That should just pop off. He's put the SSD where the hard drive should go. He's bought a little um, drive bay adapter. You know, the uh, three and a half to two and a half inch adapter. I'm not sure why. I don't know if he didn't realise that you've got this um, 
two and a half inch bay down the bottom here, which is what I bought this for, which arrived today, and in theory that should, yep, yeah, there we go. So I've just got to take this out, put this drive into here and put it down here. That will then free up this and I might need to, yep, I will need to get another uh, SAR cable. So if you've got a little laptop CD drive, man, that's all it's got. I wanted to put a one terabyte drive in this, but uh, I had to use that the weekend. While I was over at Mutton's Saturday, a friend of mine contacted me over on Facebook Messenger saying that the computer I'd built him and gifted him at Christmas <laughs> was making a tick, 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 tick sound when he turned it on and it was having problems with um, freezing and not booting all the time. And I thought, no, I know exactly what that is. I don't know why it was interfering with the system booting and actually working because it wasn't the boot drive. The boot drive is an SSD, not a hard drive. But I knew from the way he was describing it, it was a hard drive that had shit the bed. Um, and it was one of these two. So, you know, when I built it, I put two 500 gig drives. These were all I had at the time, just a couple of these shitty Seagates. Ooh, pardon me. One Seagate video and one Seagate pipeline. I do not recommend using these. Me, my naivety a few years ago, at a car boot sale, someone was selling a load of these hard drives for a five reach, so I bought a load. You know, five pounds, 500 gigs, you know, several terabytes of storage there. Most of them have died on me in this couple of years, and I've barely used them. Um, I was, when I was using my Intel i7 build, um, as the daily driver, I was using them drives as storage drives on there, and I had two or three fail on that. So, um, I don't trust them. That's why I took both out. One of them was still working fine, still showing, you could still access it. But the one that died was his gaming drive. So I thought, instead of putting another two 500s in, I'll just give him my decent one terabyte one, which was a Toshiba brand. I'd have preferred Western Digital myself. Because I like Western Digital, but as I said, I didn't have that. Toshiba was the best one I had spare. It was either that or I'd put another couple of, you know, 500 gig drives in. But I thought it would also be easier for him to use and store his games on if he just had the one drive. But he's not that computer savvy. He learns pretty well. well. I'll give him credit there. He does learn very well. Right. We will test this when I'm done, make sure everything is working. So... How do I get this out? <laughs> um, do I just yank on it? Is it screwed in? Is it locked in? I can see these catches there. Ah! I bet that screw's got to... is what's locking it in. I'll just move you so you can actually see what I'm working on. And there we go. I haven't even got the hard drives out of the cupboard yet. But then again, I'm not sure what one I want to put in here. I've got two Hitachi Desk Stars that I could put in. Can you put a, um, a data one in here? A data? A data? No, You put that one in there. <laughs> Screwed in with all four screws as well. Holy moly. machine's running an i7, I can't remember. I think it's an i3. Um, according to the Googles, when I looked this up, I can upgrade this to 16 megabytes of RAM. 16 megabytes? 16 gigabytes of RAM. Jesus, this isn't 1985. <laughs> um, if I want to. It's got 8 on it, I believe. Just realised I'm going to have to just 
um, rearrange some of this cable management. Oh. Oh, oh. I'm going to need to find a um, SATA split for that because that's the only one I've got. I'm going to need two. You know, we've got the mini one for the um, laptop drive, but that is it. <laughs> oh, this power cable plugs straight into the motherboard. It doesn't come from the power supply. Never seen that done. And this has got Wi-Fi on the system itself. It's got a little Wi-Fi card in there. Sweet. This is the one that I actually want to set up in the bedroom. To be honest, for what I want to use it for, it doesn't really need that GPU, but never mind. Oh, shit. Don't need these uh, hard drive screws, or the SSD screws, I should say. That, well, I've got another one of these spare, so that'll be handy, handy dandy. So what I need to do is line one side up like that. Hopefully. And hopefully, if I just stretch that out enough, there's one, there's two, and then all I've got to do It is this. Yeah. Right, put that back. Come on, get in there. Get in there. There we go. Got very good light uh, at the moment. Even though I've got two spotlights above me. Those two are now in. I'll reinsert this side. Sure, it's supposed to go in a bit further than that, but. Ah! There we go. So now I need to just get the blue there. Well, actually, what I can do, I can unplug it from the board. There, just keep that up there for the other hard drive, and get another one. Oh, for the SSD. So we need this tub. And I'm going to need. Me. I did plan to do all this yesterday, which was Sunday, but uh, I actually wasn't very well yesterday. I had uh, tummy issues. Right, I know somewhere in here I've got a SATA splitter for that. Right, should I match it with a blue one? I think so. Ah. Should I perhaps put that up the other way? <laughs> I think I should have. I think I put it in upside down. So. <laughs> Might have been part of the issue. You know what sod up it's in. <laughs> I'm gonna try and force it. It'll just end up breaking something. 
Right, so that one's in. Uh, I've got that, so I need the splitter cable. I need that. And uh, a hard drive would be useful, which I've got. Open this cupboard. Not quite a few because I spent a lot of time going through these. Two ain't any good. I'll just try and see what was actually tucked. No, nope. that's an HP. Uh, what's this one? Hitachi Desk Star again. Three gigabytes a second. Two thousand and eight. It's not what I want, I want the uh, capacity. Should say on it. That's warranty. 500 gigs. I could put that one in. Uh, I've got Max Store. Oh, got May 2010 Hitachi. I'm going to go for Hitachi. I'll probably go for that one. No, I've got some Western Digitals up here. Somewhere. <laughs> ah. Speaking of which. Um, yeah, it's only a 260 gig. What's the green one? I think it's something like 300, 320, something like that. 320. I'm pretty certain they're the only two Westerns I have. I could go for a full pile of them. Rest them there, but I know that's even smaller. Definitely not that one. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that attach, I think. The 2010 one. I dread to think how many hard drives I've got in there. Right. <clears throat> Can't remember what way this went in. I think it was that way, wasn't it? Yeah, because of that. So, I want that in this way up. Nope. It's actually got to be. Well, you need like three hands. So I'm actually glad I'm using a magnetic screwdriver. Well, that's going to do it for the world of good, isn't it? Come on, all I need to do is just get the one screw in. So, like so, I just want something to use in the bedroom. Maybe at night when I'm tucked up in bed, or uh, when I'm working on the model railway. You're probably thinking, why, when I've got one in the lounge? Well, my thinking is, if I need to look at, you know, like a diagram or something, it's better to have it on screen right where I'm working than it is in the other room. So, that is my thinking. Right, I'm missing a screw. I'm missing the one that I took out of there. What the four for the um, SSD that held that into the caddy? Uh, right, we'll worry about that in a minute. I'll just have to get one out of the drawer. Here's the more things moving around in the sink by themselves. Here's the uh, little SAR splitter. So we need power. I'm not putting that one 
upside down. Yep. And power. She's going to reach. A bit of a stretch. There we go. So that should be alright. I haven't got anything around here to hold it in place. That I'm going to have to put on there. There we go. So, apart from that screw, and this, which is just a case of doing this, no screws required for the GPU. Pop it in and then put this lock down, hopefully. Like that, yeah. So, now I can actually close this up. find that screw on my that believe it or not it's just a little one gig GDDR3 let's try and find it I'm sure it's had it on this at some uh, somewhere Yeah, one gig GDDR3. Tiny little thing. I think it's more like a display adapter though, isn't it? Than a GPU. Right, we'll stand that over there. Oh, nuts. The screw I want is not here in the... Or the drawers I want are not here in the kitchen. So, <laughs> quick look around for the screw. Around by my drink, is it? No. I might just have to pause to go and get my uh, it's weird how that screw has disappeared. Let me just pause for a minute and I'll go and get one. Here we go. I found some. I found some in the bottom of the bag as well. So, all I want to do is shove that in there. Now, I think just for now, I'll clip this on. I just want to make sure everything is working before I shut the main cover on. So, I need one of these. Here's a monitor I made earlier. Should have sorted all that junk out on the floor first. Right. Now that's typical, I just found a screw that was underneath it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna the board. Just take that down back. And that one. Oh, this motherboard's got built in HDMI. Cool. Put the other case on the mouse cable. Smart, wouldn't it? Right, plug that one in there. So we've got those two done. Okay. I had a bit of a clean up on the worktop, which is why everything is unplugged. Power cable. Power cable. is not going to work without some juice itself. So there we go. So I need my DVI adapter. VGA to DVI. Where have I put that? I wouldn't mind I got that. See, good. So far, so good. What's she do? 
it should boot fine because I've not changed the um, SART connector the SSD was on. I just changed the cable because it was easier. She's booting. I just want to make sure it's going to recognise the uh, hard drive I put in. I'm just going to sort out all these screws that fell out. Perhaps I should have put some tape around this or something before I uh, transport it. I only took it to my friends because I couldn't remember if the hard drives and whatnot were screwed in or if um, they were toolless. Turns out they were toolless, so... Handy things for screws and whatnot. Better than all the loose tubs I had, anyway. Right. I'll have a look at the specs as well while I'm in here. Let's do that first. Uh, window system, control panel. I don't know why I had to stop and think about where I had to go. I use Windows 10 daily, it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> System! Uh, oh! Installed memory 12 gigs! Oh, stand pretty. Yeah, it's an i3 uh, 6100, 3.7 gigahertz. Um, yeah, gigahertz. 64 bit operating system. So. Is the hard drive there? It is! Right here. Good! We're all working. I can button this up now and not worry about it. When I can remember where I put the cover. Shouldn't be far away. Uh, staring, staring me right in the face. spare thumb screws to put in the back. If I have they'd be in this drawer. And there are no screws in the other ones and it doesn't. No. So I'm just gonna put a couple of pink anodized screws in just because I can. Should actually go and get my um, Wi-Fi code and make sure the Wi-Fi works. It should do because the thing is up there saying it's detected networks. I think I still wasn't using my old internet hub because I, I memorized the bloody code for that. For the new one, it's a bit more complicated. Yeah, it's detecting so. Well, I could cheat and just go on a BT Wi-Fi open. BT Secure, Direct 89HP, what? I'm picking up someone's friggin' printer from here. <laughs> Direct 89HP, DeskJet 2700, I am, I'm picking up someone's printer. Vodafone Connect and a hidden network. So I've got full signal on, so this is probably a decent uh, Wi-Fi card on this. Oh, well, there we go. It's working. That is pretty much all I wanted to do with this one. Apart from uh, set it up in the bedroom. Uh, which I need to uh, decide where to set it up. And how to set it up. I've actually been toying with the idea of um, cutting that big white desk in half that I've got the t two TVs on and 
the retro PCs on. Sorry about that guys, um, I ran out of space on the memory card, that's the first time I've ever had that happen. But anyway, I've actually, uh, you know, been and transferred everything over to the PC and wiped the memory card, so... I can't remember where I was. <laughs> um, but what I've done while I was waiting for the files to transfer to the PC, I have actually um, set up the Wi-Fi. So that's now... Uh, I'm good to go and I've installed Firefox because I just prefer Firefox. I actually don't know why, but it can be an utter pain in the backside, but uh, never mind. to sign into sync. I don't remember what email I used. I think it's this one. Better find out. See Firefox does a VPN now. Do that in a minute because I can just go through there and get the code. Might be a better idea actually. I'll, uh, I'll do that in a minute and I'll go through there and get the code. So, yeah, I'm just going to probably just play around with this for a little while and then it'll be bedtime, I think. Um, so, that one's up and running. Next PC related video will be recasing my old Intel rig once I've got it back here. And I'm thinking I'll either use that case or another spare case I've got over at Mum's as um, a test rig, if you like. Um, I'll shove a motherboard in it. In fact, I've got one lurking around here somewhere that I could stick in it. And uh, I'll just use that for testing things like. GPUs and RAM and stuff like that, <coughs> hard drives, that sort of thing. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you all again in the next one. Bye.